the only videos I'm making at the moment are unboxing videos, really. <laughs> so, uh, this is a laptop I bought for work, hopefully. Uh, it's been a massive pain in the ass trying to get this laptop, or a laptop. I wanted something sub-13 inch. I was looking at... Um, let's see if I can get rid of that. I was looking at... Surface Book Goes because uh, I had one before, they were pretty decent, it was very small. I don't want anything for games, I just wanted something that would <coughs> I can actually unbox it with help. I wanted something that just could internet and file, um, you know, move files around, download stuff, you know, a bit torrents and stuff. And um, I bought one, and it didn't work. <laughs> so I returned it. Oh, no, 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 no. So I bought some HP thing. It was like crazy powerful what it was. It was like 400 quid. It was 32 gigabyte DDR5, an i5, 12, 500, and, and a 14 inch laptop. And I bought it. And I reset it. <laughs> And it was locked <laughs> to shell, and I'm trying to get past it. And it was locked to shell, and I thought, okay, so I try getting past it, even using some of the Microsoft stuff. And then it said, to go any further, please insert your shell security USB. And I thought, oh. And then, I returned it to CX. Now normally they're pretty good, but this guy accused me of doing something wrong. And he goes to me, I'll give you a call later when I find out what's wrong with it. If not, you'll get a refund. I went, okay. 10 minutes later, I got a refund. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got? We got a power brick and USB-C, lovely. So that morning I popped in and I saw a gaming laptop for 300 quid, which was really good. I bought it and it's 16 inch, it was bigger than I wanted. It wasn't USB-C, which, you know, okay, it's going to happen. But it's not something that I can just carry around because... That's the charging brick. Now, this is the size of the charging brick. Now, for comparison size, this is the Mac Mini 4. Which I obviously haven't set up yet. So, then, I thought I still need a small laptop. So I went on to eBay and I bought the first gen Mac and oh, no first gen Surface Go. I got it, I reset it <laughs> and it was locked to an HS and I went, oh, fuck's sake. But at the time I had that Surface Go and I loved it, but it's just really impractical for file management and stuff like that because you have to have external mouse and stuff like that. And I sold that on eBay. And then I returned the, I'm in a predicament at the moment, I returned the laptop to the other guy. But I got the two mixed up. So the laptop I was meant to return got the Surface Go, oh sorry, got the quite powerful Surface Pro, which was worth a lot more money. And the guy that paid a lot of money for the Surface Pro got a broken Surface Go. <laughs> so I mean... <laughs> I'm at the moment just trying to <laughs> like get that sorted and oh what a clusterfuck. But this time I've gone for a Lenovo ThinkPad. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's gonna be quite handy when I sell my gaming laptop, which I don't use. Because I use mainly my Chromebook. But the CEX are not very good. When it comes to cleaning their stuff. 
Now this is a nice size. This is, <clears throat> I think, pad X13. Feels pretty solid. Uh, 8 gig, 256, which I think I can install another one. Get up to a terabyte. And uh, i5 13, 13, 35U or something like that. So the first thing, let's have a look, is does it work? <laughs> this, this is the main thing. I'm going to try reset it and see if it's locked behind anything. Okay, dead battery. Let's take that out there. It's USB-C, which is just really handy for work because I prefer everything I own to be USB-C because it just means I can charge everything with the same cables. Okay. So, quite a nice setup. Uh, I think that's an IPS panel actually. Which is quite nice. Nice and small. They've always got a nice keyboard. So, uh, okay, this is a story about my lack of. Ooh. Okay, so up for the first time. So that's groovy. Into Levo. Might be able to play a few games, but that's what my next unboxing's for, which I'm about to do. But I'm going to put in a pair of glasses so it looks like I'm recording it at a different time. I love that little dot that kind of glows up and think pads. Oh, there's a cat. You jumping up, boy? There he is. This one's really skittish around me. <laughs> 